Hi Leo, welcome back to your channel. This is going to be your no contact. Now, if you guys are here for your first time, I welcome you. And if you are returning back to the channel, Leo, I welcome you guys back with open arms. You know you're a diamond. Please continue to shine bright like a diamond. Let's get into a prayer and pull in the energy of your no contact reading. Heavenly Father, as I come before you, I ask for your guidance for myself and for my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So for your no contact, Leo, this reading is a general reading and not a personal one. It may or may not resonate with you guys. Please take what does resonate with you at this moment and leave the absolute rest. It could pull in your personal energy, whether it's a past person, a future person, or one that's presently in your life. Cross watchers, please do the same as well. The roles could be reversed. Take what's yours, leave the absolute rest. Personal reading is also available on the channel, you guys. And it's easy to connect with me simply by using the information that I have provided for you guys in the description of this video. All right, let's see what your challenge is with your no contact. And, and just keep it in mind that the rules again could be reversed. You guys take what's yours and leave the absolute rest. What is your challenge? What is the challenge for Leo the lion for their no contact energy? Please, angels, spirit guides, what is the challenge? Your challenge is freedom, you guys, all right? So for some of you, for your no contact, you're either planning on walking away or you're either setting on setting yourself free like a bird in the sky. This is what I'm seeing. This is what I'm hearing for some of you guys here. Now, I do feel like for some of you, though, there may be a feeling of not really wanting to let go. Um, I do feel like there may be some kind of a setback or you might have already have one or had one, okay? Now, what I am seeing here in the back of the deck is prayer. I do feel like whatever it is that you're yearning for, asking for at this present time, um, prayer is needed. I do feel like um, it's time for a change. I do feel like for some of you guys, um, you might have not been praying as much as you should have. Um, and kind of setting your goals and setting your aims up high. All right, let's see what the messages are for your no contact at this time. <clears throat> okay, angels. That is a message for Leo, please. Okay, Leo. All right, so what I'm seeing here is um, I like, I lie, I lie awake, huh? thinking about our future. So I do feel like, um, you know, this could be you or this could be your person, take it how it suits you. But someone is still, still reminisce about the connection. Someone really wants to maybe make some kind of amend or maybe trying to reach out, um, maybe trying to come up with some kind of reconciliation of some sort. This love was that scared me. Also, someone was very scared here. Um, maybe this person was very afraid of maybe how fast things were going or maybe this person was just afraid of commitment or committing to you or this could be you. I sometimes wonder if you care. So there's also a feeling of uh, massive insecurity for some of you guys, Leo. Um, I do feel like whatever these insecurities are, um, it makes one feel like the other person doesn't really care, even though that might not be the case. Maybe this person does care. The lucky number 13. Yeah, maybe this person does care, but really not knowing how to show how much. Um, I never imagined so much, um, perfection. Ooh, see what I'm saying? This, this could also be a, a feeling of um, someone either very intimidated by you. Okay. Um, I do feel also... Um, for some of you guys, it's just a feeling of perfection. Maybe this person's a little, um, aware or alert. Um, it could be a past situation that might have happened here for some of you guys. Um, it might have been a situation that you feel afraid or this could be them that is, is some, some kind of a fear is holding back a movement here for someone who should be moving forward here. Um, but prayer is the answer. This is what was on the back of your deck here. 
um, and allowing yourself to be in freedom here and resonate into what is needed here um, and letting go of past situations here. All right, let's see. Let's clarify your no contact. <clears throat> okay, all right, Leo, let's see. Leo the lion, Leo the lion. What's going on for Leo the lion and no contact energy? For Leo at this time, angels. Okay. Okay, so we have the Lover's card here. What is the Lover's card? What is the Lover's card for Leo the Lion? The Lover's card pulled through the Six of Swords. Okay, so I do feel like for some of you guys here with the Lover's card and the Six of Swords being here, um, it really feels like you might have either felt that this person might have betrayed you in some way, shape, or form, or this could be how they might have felt. Um, I really do feel like, you know, there's either a feeling of you wanting to be committed to this person or this could be them that wanted to be committed to you. However, someone felt like there was something that wasn't given. Maybe you felt like this person might have been wearing a mask at one point or this could be them. But at the end of the day, a commitment was needed. And I do feel because this lover's card really resonates to what wasn't given. I feel like if the commitment wasn't given or something kind of fell short here, even though there was some kind of a cure here. Uh, but something was set back. Somebody either felt stuck or someone either felt like there weren't no movement. Um, it could also be a feeling of um, someone that might have indulged into a situation that didn't have anything to do with you as far as another person, a third wheel that came through. Um, I do feel like, you know, this was a massive distraction here. Someone may have taken a leap of faith into something that didn't need to risk didn't need it to be taking a leap here. Um, and I feel like whatever caused this lover's card to be here, I feel like prayer is the answer. This is what I'm seeing here. Um, to set one's uh, spirit, mind, and soul free here. Okay, so what is the lover's card and the six of swords? What is the lover's card and the six of swords? Okay. The nine of pentacles. Okay, so you're still trying to have some kind of a comfort here. For some of you guys, Leo, you know, you're all about manifesting your life. You're all about um, buying nice things, living the best life, you know, loving life as is. But there's a decision that needs to be made here. Um, I do feel like with this decision, this come the Nine of Pentacles, the tool of wands here, is progress. I do feel like, you know, you're moving into something different. And this is what you guys might need. For some of you thinking about a change, you're thinking about relocating or... Or uh, maybe there's some kind of an opportunity that is coming in. Um, but someone either decided to not follow through um, just by sitting and kind of waiting with this hangman here. The hangman, the five of cups. Okay, yeah, it definitely caused some kind of a sadness here. Um, where someone either felt very ashamed or um, very, hmm, let's just say not giving to say the least, Okay. Um, I do feel like someone kind of felt like they could maybe taken back what they might have caused. Or for some of you, maybe a chapter or door might have been open. And someone is ready to kind of close that door because it didn't really bring in anything but sadness and, 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 and shame here. What is the Five of Cups? The Five of Cups is a Four of Pentacles. Okay, what is the Four of Pentacles? The Four of Pentacles is the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is the Nine of Wands. Okay, so something is ending, you guys. All right, so there's a situation here that's really coming to an end or it needs to. But I also feel like determination is also needed. That's what's coming in. Determination is needed here. You either have to take the control with this Four of Pentacles because someone is. If this is not you that's taking all the control, then this is what's connected to you. Uh, but something is coming to an end. Something is forcing its way to come to an end. Um, because of there's too much sadness and too much pain. For some of you guys, you might have felt very hurt or betrayed. The Nine of Swords. Okay. Yeah. Whatever is going on here definitely caused a lot of stress. And it definitely had your relationship upside down. Where someone is either lacking in communication or someone is either feeling uncertain with this Two of Swords. Of where the situation is going or moving or there's absolutely no movement. But something is definitely coming to an abrupt end. 
abrupt end, okay? Someone is making a decision with this tool, wants you to move forward into something different, uh, maybe for a start, to change, an opportunity that is coming in. Um, I do feel like opportunity waits for no one, you guys. Um, I feel like whatever is coming through this two of wands is, is, is what is needed at this moment based on what I've seen here with this ten of swords and this nine of swords. Something is ending. What is the ten of swords and what is the nine of swords? The ten of swords and the nine of swords is a page of cups. Okay. So that's friendships that really needs to be set here. Um, as far as judgment is concerned, and I do feel like for some of you guys, it's just a matter of leaving the past in the past. Your no contact is really telling me it's time for healing, you guys, setting yourself free, um, praying for what you want, manifesting what you need here. Um, chapters are closing. Is This is what I'm seeing here. Prophecies are being fulfilled. Um, there's a feeling of someone either eventually taking responsibility for what they might have had done with this lover's card and why it came through. But no matter how the, the wheels go, no matter how the story or the chapter turns out, determination is needed and her happiness is the most important thing, Leo, okay? All right, this is going to be a no contact read and I do hope that this did resonate with you. Please do not hesitate to like, to share um, the channel, okay? Tell a friend to tell a friend. If you do need to have a prayer request, you guys, please let me know that you need one simply by leaving your initials down below. Also pray for me, Leo, as I am praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first you know always find. Bye, guys.